Hi, this is Tim Modra, Managing Director of Modra Technology. This is the first of a series of short information videos in which we give you detailed explanations on features of Modra Technology's Creel Automation System, Creel MT. A quick review of Creel MT. In this configuration, we have a mobile Creel of 250 positions with each position capable of holding 1,000 grams of yarn. So there would be four such creels used for a two meter wide tufting machine. 12 individual spindles are configured around the mobile creel and each of these are actually uh, configured as a three high Gilboss Uniwinder. There's four robot package handlers which we use to take the empty cores from the mobile creel and place in magazines in the winder and then remove the wound packages and place them in the creel. So let's compare conventional creeling to Creel MT. We start with a winder and bring in the required yarn. Packages are all wound, most likely approximately, and then taken to the creel and placed into position while the tufting machine is consuming yarn from the alternate pin. When the tufter has completed the previous job, we splice inside the creel and remove the remnant yarn, and then we run the current job. We scrap or return the remnant yarn for bit winding or back winding and put this material into stock with any remaining yarn from winding. We have two areas of variable effort, meaning effort is proportional to the run size, and two areas of fixed effort, means that the effort is effectively the same independent of run size. The fixed effort areas are the ones which are the big problem. Under a certain critical run size, even with two pins in the creel, it's not practical to keep up. This impact is a low overall equipment effectiveness or OEE. Here are some typical times of placing the packages in the creel and splicing in the creel for a two meter wide machine. Let's compare it to Creel MT. Creel MT can be compared to the winder, as it really is a winder with robot doffing. Creel MT loads mobile creels, and then they are taken straight to the tufter. Yarn is available in a header, uh, in header strips for beam splicing, and uh, beam splicing burns in the yarns, and then we run the current job. When the mobile creel is returned to Creel MT, the remnant yarn is drawn out of headers. Durable plastic cores remain in the mobile creels. And in this inst instance, the variable effort is the same. The creel effort is eliminated and the splice effort is halved. We also expect some considerable yarn savings as we're precision winding. If you want any more information on Creel MT, have a look at our website. If you have any questions, we may be able to answer your questions with a quick video. Send the questions to sales at modra.com. Thank you.